Over the past couple of weeks, there has been some uncertainty in regards to Bray Wyatt's WrestleMania status in regards to his pending showdown with the almighty Bobby Lashley at the show of shows in Los Angeles. After dismantling Uncle Howdy on SmackDown, the build has been somewhat radio silent on both Raw and SmackDown until... <sighs> they didn't even try. But you know what? No. Not going to be negative. We're going to flip it. We're going to flip it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to flip it here because with this Bray Wyatt situation ongoing, it has me wondering, what if WWE utilized this opportunity to capitalize on bringing someone up from NXT? Someone who in many people's eyes could do what not that many have done before in the past and use the bright lights of WrestleMania as a launching point for someone who is destined to be a prominent fixture on WWE television in the near future. What if Bobby Lashley still competes at WrestleMania, but against someone who's been a prominent fixture in NXT for the past two years in Braun Breaker? We are live in the Crypto Arena in Los Angeles, California on an afternoon where the stars of NXT compete to showcase to the world during the biggest weekend of the year what they bring to the table and in the main event. Two of the biggest stars finally cross paths as Carmelo Hayes with Trick Williams barred from ringside challenges Braun Breaker for the NXT Championship. Once that bell rung, weeks of mutual respect between the champion and challenger went out the window as both men wanted to assert dominance throughout the encounter, but quickly realized they are, in many ways, similar in certain aspects, so they would need to change up their game plan to get one up on the other. Realizing this early on, Melo quickly found an opening because despite everything, Braun has a tendency to get lost in the sauce and let his temper get the better of him, which Melo used to target the legs of the champion, and in many ways, placing a slight dent in his plan of playing the power game. Despite everything, Melo could not keep the champion down for the count, and Braun kept finding it within himself to keep on fighting despite the bad leg, and was even able to connect with an impactful spear out of nowhere, but the challenger refused to quit. He refused to miss out on this once in a lifetime opportunity, and the anger and frustration of the champion showed his head again, but this time, Melo was ready and the King of Drop took advantage before finally hitting nothing but net on Braun and that was enough to put him away for good this time. From going toe to toe with Bay Bay in his debut to unifying championships during this brand's rephasing stages to finally reaching the summit of NXT as he stands before you as NXT champion. After spending the better part of his entire time in NXT thus far on top of the mountain, what's next for Braun Breaker? After a successful night one, it is now time for night two of WrestleMania Goes Hollywood, and the night has been absolutely insane. From Rhea Ripley uncrowning the queen and leaving a SmackDown Women's Champion, to Austin Theory unceremoniously making sure John Cena remembers that he is the future of this business when he defeated the 16-time world champion to retain the United States title, to Brock Lesnar overpowering Omos to finally connect with an F5 on the giant, shocking the entire world. But the questions surrounding Bobby Lashley continues to remain prominent. Will he compete tonight? A frustrated Bobby Lashley had enough and confronted WWE official Adam Pearce. I came all this way and you still don't have an opponent for me? Bobby, I've been trying and my hands are tied at the moment. Save your excuses. Tell the guys in production to cue up my music. I'm going to the ring and I tell you what, that bell better ring and I better have a match or someone back here is getting their ass put to sleep. Not shy of words, the almighty made it crystal clear that he better have an opponent and if he doesn't, Adam Pierce, he better be on a plane before the main event or that's his ass. Despite not having an opponent, the almighty Bobby Lashley made his way to the ring and his message is crystal clear to say the very least. I don't know what's going on with Bray Wyatt, that's his business. But my business has been up in the air for the past couple of weeks and I'll be damned if I miss out on a payday because no one in the back is man enough to face me. So whoever is willing to step into the ring with a man who has many ways of snapping you in half like a twig, I dare you to grow a set and get in this ring so we can fight. The 
sirens glared across the stadium and out comes the former NXT champion, Braun Breaker, 24 hours removed from losing his title to Carmelo Hayes. Bobby Lashley is somewhat taken aback a bit, but he listens to what Braun has to say. Bobby Lashley, allow me to introduce myself. I am the next generation of genetic freaks in this industry. I am the son and nephew of two of the greatest this business has ever seen. My name is Braun Breaker, but I am not out here to give you a history lesson about why I have a 35 out of 10.5% chance of being better than you've ever been in your 18 year career. I'm out here because I don't like you. I think you're overhyped, you're overplayed. Your time has come and gone. It's my time now. So Bobby, how about you put that whack looking spear up against me? How about you try to lock in the hurt lock and watch me break it? What do you say? Almighty. Bobby Lashley stares Braun in his eyes and is confused at the disrespectful tone, but he quickly admires the testicular fortitude of this kid to step up and push his buttons. You're on. The challenge has been accepted, but Bobby doesn't even wait for the bell to ring as he quickly lays out Breaker with a spear. Breaker was all bark and Bobby bit first and harder as the bell finally rung and Lashley goes for the pin right out of the gate, but only got a one count. Breaker doesn't intend to go down that easy. Braun struggles, but eventually gets to his feet, and Lashley meets him halfway and goes on the attack of the young rookie, and looks to put this one to bed with another spear, but Braun felt this one coming and got out of the way at the last moment and went on the attack himself, showcasing to the world what he brings to the table as far as power and speed. But the veteran instincts kicked in for Bobby, who instantly targeted the bad leg of Braun, the same leg he tweaked during his match last night at Stand and Deliver. Lashley went the ground and pound route with the intent of making sure Braun regrets ever stepping up to him in a disrespectful manner before finally locking in the hurt lock, looking to put this one to bed and walk away with the winner's bag. But then a moment he didn't expect to happen. Braun was not about to quit, and he powered out of the hurt lock, stomped on Bobby's toe, and hit him with a stunner, much to the shock of everyone, grabbing the throat of Lashley before scooping him up into the military press slam, looking to shock the world with a victory, but that was not enough to keep Lashley down for the count. What does Braun have to do to keep this man down? Braun goes for the maneuver again, but Bobby slipped out, bounced off the ropes looking for a spear, but Braun responded with a spear of his own. Braun Breaker has stepped into a different atmosphere before connecting with another military press slam on Lashley. This one was enough to keep the almighty down as Braun Breaker shockingly picked up the win in this impromptu showdown. If there was any question if Braun had that dog in him, this should answer that question in convincing fashion that he indeed does. And after the match, it appeared that Bobby Lashley was about to continue what was started. But he in turn said, You were a shark in a little pond for the past two years, kid. Welcome to the ocean. I'll be seeing you again very soon. After showing Braun Breaker his respect, Bobby Lashley left the ring to the former NXT champion. Now that the dog has been let off his leash, what is next for Braun Breaker in the WWE? And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And while you're doing that, check out this video right here where I booked the 2023 Queen of the Ring Tournament.